What's going on guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to make this short video um, on how to adjust your miles per gallon so they are actually accurate because um, I don't know about you guys, but mine are not. So first off, um, last time I got gas, I reset the trip meter. I am going to the same exact pump um, this time. So the truck's gonna sit at the same level. You know, I'm gonna fill it up to one click and go from there. Now I have a really bad habit of doing this um, <laughs> when I'm trying to do accurate videos, but here I ran out of gas, I don't know, 10 miles ago. And we were on our way home from Ann Arbor. We went to the Michigan basketball game and uh, it was really, really tiring uh, driving them two hours there for a less than two hour basketball game uh, and then two hours back so I was not stopping um, at 11 o'clock at night and getting gas. So we're just gonna cruise up to the same pump here, get the gas and do the calculations. Same pump, here we go. All right, and this is the trip meter right here before I even get out. Uh, 491.5, I went on that tank of gas. If you guys know, I'm usually running about 560, and that's what it tells me. Obviously, that is not correct. So 491.5. So we got 36.51 and we're going to take that into our calculation. All right guys, for the push button start here, what I'm going to do is hold down the OK button, um, push the ignition button, and then wait for the accessory mode to come on. Once that comes on, I'm going to push the brake down and start the vehicle and it'll go into maintenance mode. So here we go. So here we are. We are in the engineering test mode. Click OK until we find AFE bias. There it is. Okay, now it's standard, it's set at a thousand. So with some quick math here. All right, so 491.5 divided by our 36.51 equals, that's our real, okay. That's our real miles per gallon, 13.46. Uh, now it told us that we were getting Oh, I don't even remember now. I gotta look. So it said we were getting 14.4. So you take the number you got, divide it by your actual. There we go. And we get a uh, value of 934. So that's gonna be our new value. Instead of 1,000, it's gonna be 934. We're gonna move that decimal point three spots. And so you're going to use here, you're going to go down. This is going to bring your value down, your arrow on the left. So let's get in focus here again. Okay, so we're going to keep going until mine said 934.8. So we'll go to, oops, too far. We will go down to 934. Um... And then forward, and then let's see if that took. So, yep, 19, 934. Um, and we will see. So to get out of this screen now, just shut your truck off. Okay, so now you can see I started the truck back up and it already adjusted it to 13.4, which my last trip meter was. So if you recall, on our math, we took 
um, our trip meter, 491.5, divided it by our gallons that we used to fill it up, 13.46, so we should be sitting good. Now to do the true test on this, I will reset this trip meter again. Bam, and then next time I fill up, I will check it and make sure it's spot on. So I reset the trip meter now, and uh, it's been a while. I went through that tank of gas uh, till it was down too empty and uh, tracked my mileage again. Uh, so I'll put the pictures up here on the screen now. The uh, trip meter wound up going 435.1 miles, um, and it estimated a 13.5 mile per gallon, and that's what I'm hoping is now accurate. Um, now here's the gallons I put in um, this past time, 32.33. When you take the 435.1 and divide it by the gallons, 32.33, you come up with 13.458. Perfect. That is good enough for me. Hopefully that bias works. Um, now that it's cold in wintertime here, uh, the gas mileage is going to go down for me because I tend to... Um, warm it up when I'm leaving work. I don't have to warm it up on the way to work because it's in a heated garage here. So um, if you guys have an issue with um, your miles per gallon not being correct, this is how you do it. Um, if you need the directions, the directions are easier for uh, the turnkey. I'm actually gonna be doing the same thing on my uh, Fusion, on my Weiss Fusion to adjust that as well. So we will get into that. Um, and that will have the directions for the keyed ignition as well. So if I got that, it'll be up here in the corner. So go ahead, check that out, but it'll probably be a little while, probably a month before I get that up on the channel. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I do want to give a shout out to my new series. I've got one episode out on the channel so far. It is called A Moment with Alan. It is uh, meant to be interactive um, in the comments section. Um, to get you guys um, participating in, you know, um, just certain topics. Um, so the first episode is Passing Lanes. Um, gotten quite a few comments, just not a whole lot of um, views at this point. But if you want to laugh, go check that video out, man. Passing Lane Laws. Um, I try and make it comical and fun for everybody. Um, and my next one I have coming out, uh, hopefully, um, I haven't started it yet, but I'm hopefully going to be doing one on roundabouts if you don't know what those are they're a good thing and a bad thing but anyway go check that video out um i it was the funnest video i've put together so far um and it should make you laugh so hopefully this video helped you guys out um and you know uh give the channel some love like share subscribe and i will check you guys out later